and we're here today because Boris Johnson's position is completely untenable. He lied to the Queen, he lied to the British public, he's a threat to British democracy and he has to resign. So that's why we fought this. I feel this situation is a complete mess. We should never have got into it. We were led, people were led by Boris thinking that Britain would become great again. But those days are past. Britain will never be the great kingdom it was before. We've moved on, we're multicultural and it's a different world now. There's just been a judgment made by 11 judges that our prime, our, our, the Queen of this country, the Head of State, was mistaken in proroguing Parliament, um, which is unprecedented for a, a, a panel of judges to go against the Queen. The Queen's been around a long time. She, she was the Head of State under Churchill. And now our court, for political reasons, in my opinion, have decided to get into politics down the slippery road. Um, where they had no business interfering. Our, our, our parliament is quite capable of running itself. We don't need judges that have a vested interest in us remaining in the EU. The Prime Minister has basically shut down parliament just to uh, prevent any inconvenience of being scrutinised by the legislature. That is unacceptable and the courts have found against him because he has not followed our constitutional provisions and that is an abuse of power. And that is why today's judgment is so important because as we face a national emergency with the Brexit crisis, with a looming deadline uh, before the, by the 31st of October, uh, when the Prime Minister has threatened to prorogue again, uh, before this judgment was made, when the laws that were the law that was introduced, the Ben uh, Act, was introduced to block No Deal Brexit, he did not commit to following the law. That is unacceptable, and we cannot have that. And that's why this judgment is so important. So I hope we can resume our session in Parliament. We can do our job. We can hold the government to account. We can speak up for the people who put us in Parliament. This is a parliamentary democracy, and today is a victory for the people of this country and our Parliament and our democracy.